Good morning, Seiko. I'm Nicole. Today is Tuesday, March 22nd, and this is CNN. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's go to Connor with this week's ASB Corner. Tomorrow's Tacky Thursday. Wear those fanny packs and loud shirts. Next week on Thursday, March 31st, is PJ Day. Show your school spirit. March 31st is also Birthday Bash. Anyone born in the month of March can go to the ASB window during nutrition and get your cookie. Happy birthday from ASB. Game 10 of the basketball tournament is today. This, this is the game that was originally scheduled for March 18th. The first semifinal of the game will be played this Thursday. Thank you to all who have been following the no food rule while in the gym. Thank you for helping us keep our facilities nice and clean. This Friday is our Neon Nights Dance. Everyone attending must bring their ID card and be prepared to have it scanned. Students who do not have their IDs with them will be asked to wait at the end of the line so they can be manually entered. We are looking forward to a great time. That's all for me now. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Connor. Hey, Seiko, what's your favorite video game? What's your favorite video game? Minecraft. Madden. Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know. Minecraft. What's your favorite video game? Story Valley. Three. A Fortnite. Uh, oh my God. Probably like 2K21. Black Ops 2. Madden 22, boy. Oh, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Honor Society medal ceremonies are this week. 7th grade will be on Wednesday, March 23rd, and 8th grade on Thursday, March 24th. Both ceremonies will start at 7 p.m. And you should arrive by 6.45 p.m. We can't wait to celebrate your academic accomplishments with your families. Now, let's go to Zach with this week's sports. Thanks, Nicole. The opening weekend of March Madness has come to a close. On Thursday, the winners of the previous rounds, Kansas, will, will move on to play Providence College in Iowa State. will be playing Miami. In college this Friday, Houston, will play number one, Arizona, Michigan. will play Villanova. Then we will have UNC at UCLA and St. Peter at Purdue. In other news, the Dodgers have re-signed Clayton Kershaw. A.J. Pollock has experienced an unknown injury, but he is scheduled to play at the start of the season. Thanks. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Zach. Neon Knights Dance is coming up on March 23rd from 7th to 9 p.m. Admission to the dance will include food from two food trucks, DJ, photo booth, neon face painting, and more. Don't miss out on the fun. Anime Club will meet today in room 402. Make sure to eat first as there is no food inside. The Nintendo Fan Club will meet tomorrow in room 402 at lunch. Make sure to eat lunch before joining us as there is no food inside. Let's find out the origin of video games. In the beginning of gaming, there was only the Nimitron, the first video game ever announced in the New York's World Fair in 1940. A nuclear physicist named Edward Condon presented an electromechanical system called the Nimitron, which was designed to play the ancient strategy game of Nim. Unfortunately, the computer was really tough to beat, but if you managed to beat it, the game would give you a token to let all of your friends know that you were a Nim world champion. It wasn't until 1968 that Ralph Baer, now known as the father of video games, released what would eventually become known as the Magnavox Odyssey, which was the world's first home video game console. It included a simple, silent game based on ping pong called table tennis. Meanwhile, another programmer saw the artist at a trade show and decided he could do even better. He co-founded his own company called Atari. In his office, they began developing their own games in their own house, including a version of Odyssey's table tennis game, which they called Pong Pong. Eventually, Atari built the Pong cabinet, which would allow players to play for an unlimited amount of time by entering a quarter into the machine and, in the process, created an entirely new industry 
industry centered around the video arcade. When other companies caught on to the gaming booth, they created even more popular titles like Space Invaders, Donkey Kong, and Pac-Man. An arcade gaming center grew over $10 billion in revenue in 1982, and it wasn't until 1985 that you began to see home consoles be a part of popular culture in North America. Now, in 2020... Have a great day, Seiko, and remember, live each day to the fullest because you only have one life to, left to live.